Hi everyone, welcome back to Colouring Kid. Um, before I start this video, I just want to apologise for being away for quite a while. Uh, this half term hasn't really been what uh, was planned. Um, we were away at the weekend, um, but my dad had to go to hospital because he was ill, so we actually ended up staying um, for a whole week. So it's currently now Saturday of the half term and I've only got one day left. Um, so yeah, needless to say, I haven't been able to film or do anything. I have kind of just been away, which wasn't planned, but you know, we had to do that for um, the sake of my dad getting better. He's still not well, we've still got to do other stuff, but we're home now, so that's fine. Um, so I'm going to be doing a buddy colour video with uh, Susie from Susie's Colouring Cottage which was meant to be done uh, on Wednesday um, but obviously I couldn't do it. So we've had to postpone it a bit but at least I'm able to do it now. Um, so I'm doing the Kiwi page with Susie and if you haven't subscribed to her channel please go over. Um, I really enjoy watching her and her videos are really great and I love hearing her chat about things. Um, so I've almost finished doing this. I've got a few more details to do, a few more of the flowery bits, um, a few things up here and then I'll be doing a pastel background um, white gel pen and then I'm done. So this shouldn't be a very long video which is going to be quite good just because then it can upload quickly and then I've done it. So I'm just going to get the colours out. I haven't really sorted out my pencil case because I've got things from all over the place here. Um, you know, just quite a lot in here. So let me just see if I can grab them all with you. I'm just thinking about what things I'm going to need. Oh no, I should have really done this before, but oh well. I think that's it. Okay, let's get started. So I'm going to zoom in for you. I'm going to do the leaves first. And I'm going to move my camera over. So this is more just going to be um, kind of what I'm showing you, but not, you know, a full kind of tutorial thing. So I'm not going to tell you what colours I'm doing, but I'm kind of just going to do everything. So I'm going to try and do this fairly quickly. So yes, I, I apologise for not being around and the... The annoying thing is for me, because I don't have social media, I can't communicate with anyone. Um, you know, unless it's via email or anything. I have text, but obviously I don't want, you know, my, my number and stuff going out. So, yeah, yeah, email is kind of the best way for me, or, you know, via the comments in YouTube, on YouTube even. So, yeah, it's been kind of a crazy week. Um, I was staying with my grandparents and it was quite nice actually because my grandma has retired now. But, you know, um, my granddad is still working, So, but he actually took two days off. Um, on Monday we went and saw Instant Family, which I loved, it was so funny. Um, we saw that at the cinema, which is a lovely treat. And, you know, I'm probably one of the youngest people on, you know, social media and stuff with YouTube, so I don't think many people here would be interested in it. But, you know, me being a teenager, I really enjoyed it. <laughs> Um, and oh, I thought it was great. Really enjoyed that. And we were meant to be going skiing at the snow dome on the Monday, but obviously we couldn't. And uh, we got our money all kind of squared away and stuff. Um, 
and we've got a ticket thing to do instead, you know, go whenever we can. Um, but yeah, it, it wasn't, you know, we didn't lose our money, so it was good. I'm doing these bubbles down here now, and I've got the wrong blue, so that's really helpful. Um, oh, I can't find it now, this is really inconvenient. <laughs> Sorry if I'm not in the camera for a minute. If I... Oh gosh. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to find this colour. This is really unhelpful. Um, I don't know where it could be. I definitely haven't left it anywhere. Um, definitely haven't left it. Ah, oh, where is it? Sorry guys, this is so inconvenient. Um, just having a look in. Ah, uh, it's here. I know it would be here. It's in my other case so sorry about that yeah when you go away you do have to pack stuff well so that it doesn't matter where stuff is as long as you got it I was really worried that, that I'd left it then okay we're done with those I'm just going to do these two bubbles up here you don't really need to see this just because you know it's pretty basic stuff and I'm not showing you how to do stuff in this video I'm just finishing this off for the, uh, the buddy cut of it's Susie so I've really enjoyed doing this buddy colour um, and I'd love to do more so if any of you, obviously besides Susie, that would like to do a buddy colour with me, um, you can contact me via email, which is always in the description, and we can set up a date for that. And if you don't have a YouTube channel, or, you know, you don't have any social media or anything, you can just email your finished picture to me, because I would still love to do a buddy colour that way. Uh, I will only be doing a buddy colour from books that I have, so if there is any particular book that you liked in, I don't know why I've got a random dot there. If there's any particular book that you liked in my adult colouring book collection, um, then you can pick one from that. Um, but yes, you can email me, at the, um, me that way. Or if you do have a YouTube channel, you know, that would be an easier way of doing it. So now I'm just going to zoom out and put white gel pen on. And then we can do the background. I'll just zoom in, sorry. I'm using the Uniball Signo white gel pen. But yeah, I like doing buddy colours. I, ha I haven't really done many before. I mean, I colour with my mum and we've actually just coloured the donkey page from this book together. But I haven't done any, you know, proper, proper ones on YouTube before, aside from this one. So thank you, Susie, for doing this one with me, because this is now my first. And I've really enjoyed it. I did the first, I did the bulk of the colouring all together on one day. And then I just saved these last little bits to do. Which was kind of cool in a way as well, because it meant that I got everything done really quickly. Uh, and I felt, you know, I, although I haven't finished a page, I'm really close to it. And then when it comes to finishing it now, I really haven't had to put a lot of effort in for this last little bit. So that's helpful. I've actually really enjoyed doing it this way. So I'm 
just going over lots of these dots and things. Like that. And I haven't really got any particular way of doing this. I kind of just do it. Um, and you know, whatever works, works. So I'm really happy too because for Mother's Day I'm getting my mum the, this fantastic zoo book here. If you haven't seen a flip through of it, please go over and watch the flip through that I have done on my channel. It's a lovely book, I would highly recommend it, I love it so much. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'm giving it to her. She knows about it, I said to her, oh would you like to do it? Because we actually, so we coloured the donkey together but I just photocopied it for her onto some, you know, normal printer paper so I said well if you want to do more you know buddy colours uh, why don't you get the actual book so I suggested getting it for her so she's happy about that so that is the white gel pen done now we've just got to do the backgrounds so I for backgrounds use pastels I have two sets I've got these Mung Mungayo Mung oh my gosh where, where's the actual here we go Mungayo soft pastels 64 set here uh, these are great and I the reason I have tape is just if I'm travelling and stuff they stay together really nicely so that's just for that reason and I have these Rembrandt ones that my mum had again I have the tape here just you know it's just washi tape it comes off. Um, easily, it's just for travelling um, and I love these, my mum used to have them and these are proper full size ones, these are, these are really nice actually, well they're still half size but they're a bit bigger than the other ones I have and they're very old um, and they're kind of a bit more muted some of them so they're really lovely but for the purpose of this I'm going to be using my, sorry for the glare my Mungayo, Mung, oh, I can't pronounce it, Mungayo one. Um, just because I think the range of browns in this is quite good. And what I do for my backgrounds is the main body colour of the kiwi, uh, or oh, the kiwi, the animal is the colour that I use for the background. So just for example, my pig is pink. So the background is pink. So I'm going to do a light brown on here. Usually I use cotton pads and cotton buds and most people have obviously seen these. I actually bought some of these balls from uh, Superdrug which I'm going to be using instead because I've heard that these work really well as well. So I'm going to be trying these out um, and hopefully these will work exactly the same if not better. So I'm just going to have a look, I think I might, I, I always use a couple of different browns, I'm going to grab this one here, and these don't have any colour names or anything, so I'm just going by what I see, and so, so you know, I can't tell you which ones I'm using, um, add a fleshy tone in there, so I think I've got three that I want, and I can always add to it if I want to do more. Uh, and I, I'm looking forward to doing this, so let me just move my pastels. So this is virtually done now, it's just putting the finishing touches on. So what I do is I'll either get a blade or something, scrape it off onto the page and do it, but I've actually been doing this now, which is just rubbing onto the cotton pad, or cotton ball in this case. So. I'm just going to pick some places that I want to put colour onto and I'm kind of picking the darker areas as the places to go to first and I just do little round areas you know just wherever I want to go and because this kiwi is quite small I'm only going to do this in a few places Grabbing more colour. I 
I'm just being care a bit careful of the white gel pen because it's still drying. There we go. So that's the darker one. I'm going to go straight in. I've got this really light one here, which I'm just going to use the same pad for. I'm not sure how well this will show up, but hopefully we will get some colour. You might not be able to see this on camera, but it is showing up for me. So I'm going to stick with that. Grab a tiny bit more. And I'm going to get a little bit more for the area over here too. Finally, I'm just going to grab a bit of a skin colour. It's more of a flesh, really, but I like it. I'm just some in this little corner. So I'm going to call that done now. Let me just try and blend this in even more. Sorry for the camera jokes. So there we have it. That is my finished picture. Thank you for doing the buddy colour with me, Susie. And I would just like to mention that Susie also very kindly tagged me in a, uh, you know, answering 10 questions. I'm not sure whether I will include it in, uh, you know, just a separate video just for that particular tag or whether I'll do it within a colour and chat or something like that. So I'm not entirely sure, um, but I will do that soon. Also, I've got the second part of my dear colour along. Hopefully that should go up after this, um, but obviously I filmed it a week ago, so it will probably mention the fact that I've just started half term and everything like that, but I have not managed to get it up yet. So this will be going up first because this is the priority for me because I've been waiting to do it for a while. Um, and yeah, it will be going up soon. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll just bring my picture up closer to show you. So that's how it turned out. Again, I really hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video on my channel. Bye everyone!